Hundreds have rallied across the U.S. and abroad against the NSA's massive global surveillance system. Uh, the Restore the Fourth movement initially emerged on social networks and has quickly gained support with its calls to respect the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights uh, that protects citizens against illegal searches and seizures. And uh, RT's Marina Portnaya visited a protest in New York to see what the whole scene is like. On the birthday of America's independence, hundreds are taking to the streets in New York City and throughout the country to take part in the Restore the Fourth rally. This is a campaign that launched last month in the aftermath of Edward Snowden's revelations about America's uh, covert spying program, a program that has shocked those living in the United States and those living around the world. Now, the Restore the Fourth aims to, uh, to restore the Fourth Bill of Rights which protects U.S. citizens from unlawful search and seizures. The purpose of this rally, organizers say, is to spread awareness and spur uh, political action against unconstitutional spying uh, by the U.S. government. Press freedom uh, advocates that we spoke with say that uh, these protests are crucial because mainstream media is not adequately covering the NSA uh, leaks and their importance to everyday citizens. I believe that the Fourth Amendment is being breached by not only the government, but by the police with search and seizure, with the NSA leaks and everything that's been coming out. And we I feel lied to. I feel, you know, betrayed by a government that's supposed to uphold the Constitution. Even though they say that there's laws that make everything they do legal, it seems like legal gymnastics to me. I voted for Obama twice. I donated twice. But I'm tired of the expansion of these programs that seem to violate our rights and focus more on keeping us safe in the name of fear. It really frightened me that the director of national intelligence lied to Congress and there haven't really been any repercussions. He issued a written apology, but people have lost their jobs over less and it seems like he really needs to resign. We are living in the midst of the uh, of the largest, uh, 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 you know, un, unreasonable search and seizure system we've ever seen in the history of mankind. It's completely suspicionless search and seizure of our information, and that people should be infuriated. Now, this crowd has marched more than three kilometers down uh, Manhattan, ending here at Federal Hall, where the first Congress passed the Bill of Rights. In addition to this event, more than 500,000 people have signed an online petition at stopwatching.us demanding full disclosure of all NSA programs. Now, although this rally may be over, those participating in it say that their campaign is just beginning. Reporting from New York, Marina Portnaya, RT. And a Tom Kalella, an organizer of the rally in New York, he says oh, the current government surveillance is uh, undermining the legal values of the country. It is necessary for surveillance to occur. However, uh, the problem with the way that it's being done now is that it is wholly unconstitutional. Uh, and I would say that many people feel that way. The Fourth Amendment says that the government can't search and seize any information without a warrant. And although warrants can be issued uh, through the FISA Amendments Act, uh, they're usually done after the fact, after the search has been done. And they've had a almost 100 percent approval rate of these warrants uh, after the fact. We hope to be able to make those uh, programs constitutional by explicitly prohibiting surveillance of Americans without warrants backed by probable, probable cause.